Hey guys, good morning. I guess it's a little hard to say good morning because it's like 20 minutes to noon. Uh, but it's day one of my challenge and I am kind of excited, kind of worried, um, which is not really a good way to start off. Uh, but I wanted to do kind of like a overview of where I'm at so far with my project anyways, so we can see how it progresses through the month and all of that so so currently i am just watching a kate cavanaugh video as i finish my breakfast um i know i have a gryffindor mug and i'm wearing a hufflepuff sweater it's a little bit intense but this is my biggest mug and it's my favorite one so and i need all the fuel uh so i wanted to show you guys kind of like where i'm at to start off this project so for my pacemaker, I changed the name to Project Dark because that makes it a little bit easier to remember, but I know the title that I want to use. I'm just not ready to share it yet. Uh, so April was an okay writing month. Really, it was kind of crap in the big game of things. So I started off with 10,000 words because that's the amount of words that I pulled from my previous draft to start this one, and I ended out the month pretty strong. So I've written... 21,889 words, and I'm going into May hoping to really increase that by writing every day. I don't know how much I'm gonna end up with. Um, maybe I'm shooting for 50K. That would be kind of cool to shoot for 50K. But other than that, this is where I'm at. I just was working on chapter eight last night. Um, it's kind of a smorgasbord of really bad writing because I pulled most of it from my previous draft for this scene because I wanted to keep this scene and then like in here I was like wait I need another conversation so I pulled this from another scene anyway so it's just been a time so yeah May 1st um starting off strong I'm going to hopefully get some writing in um before I have to go to work uh which is at 4 15 today so I do have a little bit more time uh, to write but I'm usually best at writing at night so I'm hoping that tonight I can hammer out my daily word count uh, but yes so that's what my plan is for May um, let's hope it goes pretty well let's go writing for a little while now and I well, it's been a, it's probably been about two hours now roughly oh almost exactly two hours wow that's fun um and I think I've hit my word count for the day already which is kind of exciting let me check here so if we just give this a wee scroll all the way back up to where I was and where I started at the beginning of the chapter. Do a little boop to see the word count. Oh, that's really good. And it's still before work. So I'm gonna stop here for now. Um, I'm gonna add it to my pacemaker and if I can even get more writing in tonight, that'd be even amazing, it'd be even more amazing. But yeah, so uh, catch you on the flip side. Hey guys, so it's now the end of the day. It's about 9.30 at night and I'm in bed, as you can tell. And I have done the math on my um, goals and everything. And so here's how it's gonna go. So I want to hit 50K by the end of May. I'm making it concrete. Um, and so I have 21,889 words so far so to get 50k by the end of the month I have to write 1500 words a day every weekday I've also decided I'm gonna make this a challenge where I'm going to write every day because that makes a lot more sense and it makes the title a lot easier 
writing every day in May. It works. So I wanted to show you I have my planner laid out with all sorts of things and I wanted to update you on my writing for today. So so far I have my planner. It's all ready. I have my starting word count. Woo! And my computer falls. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a block every time I hit 500 words and my goal is 1500 words every weekday so that should be three blocks. Um, I have I have to have a review for a book up by the 9th of May, so that's what all that reading progress is, and I have my filming that I'm doing, and a TBR. But yes, so hopefully by the end of this, this is going to be very colourful and really quite amazing. I know the math says that it's 1500 every weekday to get 50,000, so if I add in the weekends, I should easily hit 50k if I don't manage to hit my word count every day. As long as I write every single day. Today I've already hit uh, 1300 words, so I'm gonna try get in 200 more. So I hit, I start it, I hit May 1st out of the park, and I, I think I can, because it's only 9.30, so I can easily do that. I can probably hash out a lot more, but I do wanna do that, and I need to get reading on Stella Fortuna, which is my read for this early in the month. Um, because I have a review that's due on the 9th for that, for Harper Collins. So that's what I'm gonna do for the rest of the night. guys happy day two I just finished up my session of writing um, for the day I think I'm done because I originally started and I didn't have that much juice uh, creative juice flowing and I was just kind of like oh, I don't really want to do this so I I reached a point in one of the scenes that I just like I wrapped up a little quick really quite quickly and I'm not a huge fan of the chapter I wrote yesterday but that'll be for editing me to figure out later <laughs> Um, so I got to the next chapter and this chapter was one that I have already written from my previous draft So I went in and pulled that entire thing and pasted it in here and then I just went through and made sure it fit properly with um, the changes that I had made and It is one of my favorite chapters that I've ever written. It is so heartbreaking and even rereading it. I was going oh my poor characters oh my god uh, but that actually it adds a lot of words to my project. I am now at 35.93 for the day, plus 121 for the little last chunk of stuff that I wrapped up the previous scene with. So I think it's a good spot to leave it for today. So yeah, I'm gonna just put it all in there and believe it there for today. And I, for the rest of the day, I'm gonna clean and I'm gonna read 
and I will see you guys for day three. Hey guys, welcome to day three. I swear it's day three. I know I've been wearing this sweater for three days. I just never want to take it off. <laughs> but it's day three and it is 9.25 and I have not done any writing yet. I've had a very busy day. I've gone um, to the mall with my friends. I have, my parents have had people over for dinner and we had Chinese food and it was really good. And, but yes, so I have my computer in front of me and I'm going to at least try and get some words down. I'm tired and I'm not exactly sure how I wanna fix, how I wanna do the next scene. So I don't know if I'm gonna try and do that next scene or like, skip to another scene i'm not sure i also have netflix open in front of me and i really want to watch something so we'll see how this goes one thing you guys should know about me is i have like a an obsession slight a slight obsession with watching um, like documentaries about places in England or castles in Scotland or for example I'm about to pull up castles of Ireland and I'm so excited castle tales of Irish castles seems like a decent oh it's a show it's not just a movie it's a show oh this is gonna keep me occupied the Normans are calling Woo! Do I keep writing? It's 10.40. I guess I could. I just don't know where to go from here. Oh, I hate when this happens. I'm also on episode 2 now of these Irish castles. They're very good. I hit 1500 words, 1522 to be exact. So now I am going to call it a night. I am struggling with kind of like where to go with this scene specifically. I need to actually like figure out information, like kind of background stuff. So as of the end of day three, I have, wow, I'm almost set. 30,000 words. I'm at 29,419 words so far in this project, which is so cool. Oh my gosh. So tomorrow I'm going to hit 30,000 words. This is so exciting. All right, friends. Good night. And I will see you tomorrow for day four. Hey guys. Happy day four. Happy May the 4th. May the Force be with you. I don't know. I'm not into the Star Wars um, whole world, but I do understand that reference. <laughs> um, I haven't filmed yet today because I went to breakfast this morning with my friend and I didn't get home until like 1.32 because that's the kind of person or that's the kind of people that we are. <laughs> um, but I also haven't written today either because I've been so entranced by the book that I'm reading, uh, Stella Fortuna, The Seven or Eight Deaths of Stella Fortuna. Um, but as of now, I've come down to get my computer. I'm also going to do a little bit of cooking because it's like 7.30 and I didn't realize it was 7.30 and I'm starving. So I'm gonna do that and I might film some clips.
watching Wonder Woman is very detrimental to trying to write 1500 words. I don't even think I got a hundred words down to be honest with you and then I just cried because Wonder Woman makes me cry. <laughs> it's a good thing that it's like vaguely dark in my room because my eyes are very puffy. Let's see how many words I got. <laughs> Ooh, 175. Ugh, that's kind of lame, isn't it? But it's like 11.46 at night, and my brain is so tired. <sighs> I failed today. At least I wrote today. I can't do, I can't do anymore. I literally can't do anymore. I just can't. Ah, I'm emotional. Just thinking about Steve and that plane. Not Steve Rogers, the one for Wonder Woman. I don't remember his last name, but he's just so good. He's so pure. Oh, I need the second movie like yesterday. <laughs> anyway, so I think I'm gonna leave it there for day four. At least I did write something. I'm gonna try it again tomorrow, and I do have a good enough buffer set up through um, the 2,000 words that I wrote on the first day of May and the 3,000 that I added. On Second day of May. So, chalk it up to watching Wonder Woman. And, <laughs> I don't know. I'm so tired. I can't, I can't write anymore tonight. <laughs> um, I realized that in a lot of my clips, you can see the word count of my master docs. And it is way over 30,000. Um, and then my, my pacemaker is, right now, it's at 20 nine uh 29,600 my brain words which is a big gap um but the way that I set up each chapter is that I I'll have like for example I'll have okay let's go to for this one, chapter 11 for Rose nope I wrote some of that chapter never mind chapter 14 I'll have it like chapter 14 and then once I figure out I can't remember exactly who the point of view for this one's supposed to be I will write that there and then I'll write the scene and I'll do this where I have like scene brief scene where she enters the warehouse first meeting with the man who had it all whatever right um and then I'll write it so that's why this is so much longer because here I have chapter 12, I have this big fleshed out scene, but I literally just, my brain doesn't want to write it, but that's why my write, my word count is so much higher for my master docs than it is in my pacemaker. Oh, here's another one, scene, and it just goes so far. Anyways, I wanted to explain that in case anyone was confused. So yeah, that's just how I do it. I flesh out all my scenes, as I do, as you see in like my outline and stuff like that. Um, I'm losing my voice. That's great. Anyways, now let's get on to day five. <laughs> Hello, friends. Welcome to day six. It is 9.09 p.m. on the nose. Yes, you heard that, heard that right. It is day six, not day five. Why? Because day five has vanished into oblivion. I did nothing yesterday because I was very sick. And today, I'm a little dizzy, and I don't know how this is going to go for today, because my brain is tired. I am tired. My body aches. I feel gross, but I'm here telling you guys that day five was a fail. And now I'm in bed. Ooh, my back hurts. Everything hurts. Ah, so let's see if I can get anything done today. <sighs> All right, it's 10.37 and I'm calling it. I finished that scene. I wrote more than I thought I was going to, which is kind of nice, but... It's not my word count. It's probably about half. And that's okay. Because at least I wrote today. And I wrote more than I did yesterday. <laughs> I'm tired. 
and hopefully tomorrow I can do better. I need to write a review for Stella Fortuna tomorrow because I finished that today and it was very, very good. I need to write a review for it once I can completely collect my thoughts. And I am going to try and hit workout tomorrow, so I will see you tomorrow for day seven. Hey guys, welcome to day seven. Another day where I am quite dizzy and feel like hell. <laughs> But I'm determined to get something done. It's 8.30ish right now. And I will try. And I'll keep you updated. Just wanted to say hi. It's Tuesday. I just got home from work. Which was a struggle. <laughs> My last uh, half hour, hour, I was really out of it. My poor kids. They were probably like, what's Miss Jenna doing? If you didn't know, I teach piano. That's what that's about. But anyways, I will keep you updated. Hey guys, so I have been writing for a little while, but my computer just stopped working on me. It, oh, it's just my Safari stopped working and it's driving me crazy because it does this sometimes and it always says this in the times that I'm like, Anyways, so we're starting Safari. Um, what have I got up to today? So I told you before that I was at work um, and uh, today, and it was okay. It went pretty well. Um, and before that, I wrote a bunch of stuff about Stella Fortuna online because I finished that up. And... Uh, I don't really know. Oh, I also filmed a quick little video that I'm gonna start doing another series on on my channel, and it's called I'm calling them Flash Hauls, and they're super fun because I'm gonna try haul four to five books in under five minutes. Um, and I succeeded today. I did four books that I hauled recently, and I'm super excited about it. Um, I'm feeling a little bit better, but also a little bit crappier in other ways. Like, I'm not as dizzy, but my stomach's doing stupid stuff. I think I'm just dying. I think that's just what is happening. And I I just, I don't know what's going on. I think the stress is catching up for me from being done university. Who knows? Anyways, thought I'd update you. I've got my Google Docs back open. Let's see if it actually stays open and doesn't crash on me. And I'm going to get some more writing in, and I think I'm going to call it a day at about 10.30. It's about 10.10 10 now, so if I do a 20-minute kind of, like, sprint, I think I'm going to be good. Just a quick word count. Search to see where I'm at. Oh, look at that. 10.42. Okay, so if I can get another 458 words. Math. I think I'm gonna call it a night. I know I said I was gonna call it at 10.20 or 10.30, but it's 10.41, so I'm gonna extend it to 11 and see if I can get these 500 words down. I don't know if I can, because I don't know where I'm going with this scene. <laughs> shocked as I am because holy crap I did not know I was gonna do that many words I was struggling with once I hit 1300 I was like oh my god 200 more words what the hell am I gonna write and then I don't know I blacked out or something because that's well I did it I hit my word count and I guess I kind of made up for yesterday where I didn't meet my word count so let's add it to pacemaker look at that guys I didn't realize I had hit 30,000 words. I'm now at 32,501. So let's look at the graph and see where we're at. Look at that beautiful, weird, wonky, kind of strange, snaky line. We're doing it, guys. And 
I will call it a day here and I will see you tomorrow for day eight. As you saw in the clip right before this one, I succeeded in hitting my workout for today, early in the day. And um, I'm kind of in a mood to keep writing, so I'm just putting my things in my bed. But I wanted to update you on what I have been reading, because I have a audiobook in my that I listen to in my car for this book. Just grab my computer in case I decide I want to do some more writing. But Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. And I'm so excited because I just got to a really intense part and my friends coerced me into reading all these books and now I'm into the last one and I'm so excited and I love these books so much. So, so good. Anyways, so yeah. I'm gonna sit down on my bed and watch some more YouTube, I think. Maybe some Netflix, who knows? But if I get the urge to write, I will update you later. Hey guys, so it's now 11.15 at night and I've been sitting here and just kind of like, I was gonna start chapter 16, which is a Nelly point of view. But then I was like, I don't remember where I left off with Nellie previously, like exactly, like I knew what kind of scene and I'm like, what kind of scene do I want next? Um, is it what I wrote down originally kind of thing. So I went back and I read through that scene and I was like, wait, I forgot something really big in this scene. So I went in and added it. And then I went in and added like a line or two in a previous scene as well. So I've just been sitting here reading through and kind of like adding a few things. So I ended up adding 157 more words for today. But it's now too late for me to get into another scene because I know if I start this scene, I'm going to be writing until one in the morning and I want to try and get my sleep schedule fixed because it's, it's so whack. <laughs> it's so bad. I get up at like 1030 every morning because I don't have to go to work in the morning. And I can't, I can't keep doing that because I'm going to get a job soon and I'm going to need to get up really early in the morning to get to that. So that's where I'm going to leave day eight. I have 2,054 words written previously, so add 157 to that, and I have my day, which is well over word count, and I'm super excited, and I'm well on my way. I now have, so I have 34,555 words, plus the 157, whatever that is, math, so I'm well on my way. The glare is a lot. Um, to my 50k goal for this month and it's only part one of my vlog and it's so exciting yay see you tomorrow Happy day nine, and yes, I'm back in my Hufflepuff sweater because it's been too long. It's been, I don't know, like four days since I've been in this sweater. Too long to be away from my favorite sweater in the world. Anyways, so today, earlier today, I got in a little bit of writing, which is really great. I think I hit about 1100 words, so I'm sitting here in my bed 
just about to start another writing session. I know where the scene is going, I just have to actually write it. Um, and I'm very excited. Uh, I should be able to hit the next 400 words easily in the next little while. And then I'm also watching some YouTube. I found some new booktubers that I'm really into right now. So I'm watching their backlog of videos, as one does. Uh, but yes, so let's finish part one strong, shall we? to the end of day nine and the end of part one of my writing challenge. I really hope you enjoyed this first vlog. There are going to be four parts of this because, you know, splitting the month almost evenly. Um, I think this is going to be super fun. Um, so what I've learned in this first week is that this is making me very, very productive, which is amazing. And I'm loving just being in my world every day and having myself write like this, it's bringing me back to last summer when I wrote my first draft of this project, the one that I scrapped. If you've seen my first uh, writing journal video <laughs> that I posted earlier last week, um, yeah, it's bringing me right back to there and it's making me feel so good because I'm just getting the words down, I'm getting the story out, I'm moving through quite fast. I've made it into act two, well into act two now. Um, let's see here. So yeah, I think I'm into like block four. I'm well into block four. Um, I'm in like the, thir the first the second third of block four. If you guys know uh, this structure, it's the Katie Tastic structure, and I'm into the fun and games and new situation kind of tab in the block, which is very exciting. And so I'm coming up next on like the, the rest of those scenes, and there's a lot of information scenes that are coming up, and then there's reminders of old world, and like, and then we get launched into kind of like block five where pressure's a building and then we get into the midpoint which is like the big part of my story where everyone is like what is actually happening nobody knows and then that's also where um isaac and nelly and rose and cam all meet each other which is super exciting um so yeah i'm super excited so i don't remember exactly the word count that i started this at i think it was twenty one thousand. 889 if I'm not mistaken um but I am ending this week at 36,439 words and I'm so excited and I'm very very proud of myself oh it makes me feel so good <laughs> so yes I do hope you are enjoying this vlog um let me know down below if you guys are currently working on something or if you're writing um if you're trying to write more during May or if you're going to join me for the rest of the month trying to write every day that would be super cool um also tell me one thing that you can share about your work if you are working on something like I shared in here my main character's name Rosalyn or Rose um I have also Nelly, Isaac and Cam three other characters two of them that are POV and then a third is the Cam is just a, a best friend of Isaac and he's there uh, but yeah, it's super exciting, and I, I'm so, I, I can't wait to see how the rest of this month goes, but yes, I'm gonna end it here, because this vlog is already eons long, and if you've made it to the end, good for you, <laughs> um, yeah, so stay kind, and keep on writing, because it's a writing challenge, I know, I, it's, it's like 11 o'clock at night, I'm tired, <laughs> good night!